Hello little hoes, my name is Kristen and welcome back to my channel. So today I thought I would do a tour of my work, specifically the greenhouse since we have a ton of cool stuff. So let's get into it. Firstly, here is the little clearance rack I set up. I'm just trying to rotate plants in and out just so they're not sitting around too long in the greenhouse. Some Adenium obesums or desert roses that we got in. These were some locally grown little guys. Um, two inch pots for four bucks. Some jasmine mini roses. There's a Taniki ficus, a big one, and a Morphophallus conjac. Snake plants, jades, aloe veras. Um, 20 bucks for some Hoya Retusas. Got some other various Hoyas in here. Crested Cactus and a Old Man of the Andes. Uh, Sansevieria. I think it's like Gold Flame. This one's super cool. Kind of tempting. 24 bucks. And then a species of aloe in the back here that's kind of been calling my name. I love the sun stress on it. I think it's about 25 bucks. Some more Hoya Retusas in hanging baskets. They're about 30 bucks, but on sale. And String of Dolphins. Neither of them have sold super well, so I think they're not quite as popular as they used to be. Look at this big specimen jade. It's so chonky. Interestingly enough, has a giant gaping hole in it, but manages to survive nonetheless. Some little ZZ plants. These little four inch guys are about, I think, six or seven. Some Ripsalis, which is one of my favorites, but doesn't sell super well. This is a new one. This is a Peperomia Pepper Spot. Similar to the Ruby Cascade, 26 bucks. This is a little cacti and succulent area. I've got a fair amount, but I think I'm going to have to order some more soon. Oh, also, you have to check this out. This is some Christmas cactus that has seed pods on it. I've never seen that before. I thought it was kind of interesting. And then some peperomias. Some false Aurelias, Fatsia japonicas, I think those are about 12 bucks for a six inch pot. Dracaenas, coffee, and some green Maranta. I don't know why these guys are getting more and more expensive, but they are. I think that's like 22 bucks. China doll. And an alocasia. I forget the species on this. It's not too bad. Six inch plant. I think it's like 12 bucks. Pretty big and chunky. We do have some larger ones too. In 10 inch pots. And I think those are like 40 bucks. 13 for this black cardinal philodendron. The new leaves are really pretty. And something I was very happy to be able to get in is some... Peperomia prostratas or string of turtles, six inch, a little expensive at thirty seven ninety nine, but honestly they are a little bit more pricey in some other stores I've checked locally, so mm, pretty average. Lipstick plants, these little guys are pretty cheap. They're I think they're like five bucks. Then some Calathea macoyana, or the peacock Calathea prairie plants. Did you see how pink that new growth was? I never knew that that variety had such pink tinge to the new leaves. And then ficus 
golden gem. And these guys are also about 12 and 16 for this Audrey Ficus. I really love ficus, but I do get fungal issues on them, so I've kind of grown apart from mine. And then these guys, these are some variegated Marantas. Super stoked to get these guys in. They're so pretty. I love the look of them when they're small, but I don't like the growth pattern on them as they start to get mature. Jewel orchids. These guys, uh, 12 bucks. I'm surprised they haven't sold out, honestly. It's a really good deal for them. Some little four inch micans, 20 bucks each. Not too bad. Fritonias. Sissus Discolor, uh, four inch and six inch. They're about 15 and 30 bucks. Raphidophora decursivas, which are becoming more and more obtainable for greenhouses and such. They're becoming pretty cheap. These guys are 30 bucks. Look at that chunky stem. Um, I suspect that these guys are being tissue cultured a lot more, so it's making them more and more affordable. Some little terracotta potted Monstera Deliciosis and Burgundy Ficus. These guys are 10 bucks. Again, another one that I've seen the price just go up quite a bit on. Some Dwarf Alocasia Polys. 14. A little pricey, but kind of average also. A giant money tree or Pachiris. I really love the look of these and I've been tempted for a while to get one. I just really don't have the floor space for them. Maybe one day. Some Anthuriums and also some of the watermelon peperomias. Again, 12 bucks. They really haven't sold well or other varieties like these. Last year was definitely the year of Peperomia. This year, not so much. Ivies and some Raphidophora tetraspermas, which have been just flying off the shelves. These guys are super nice batch. Very large and in charge. And look at that tiny little hole. Tiny little fenestration. Again, 12 bucks. These guys, I I wish they looked as impressive as they did like this when they're mature. This is um, Colocasia Nancy's Revenge. Just plain green in their juvenile state like this, but you saw the picture. They look super pretty when they're mature. Philodendron Goeldii. I believe Thematophyllum is the new classification for these guys. 30 bucks. Again, pretty going rate for them. I think they're also called fun buns now. This is a philodendron atom, I believe. It's a dwarf salome type. And you guessed it, 12 bucks. These guys have some calcium deposits. I'm going to have to neem leaf shine them. And this section here, some Little variegated Schaeffleras, five bucks. And a really pretty pink polka dotted begonia. This guy is 16 bucks for six inch. And some ficus benjaminas, little weeping ones, five bucks. Strawberry begonias. Not as popular as they once were, but five bucks. Medanilla Gregori Hambali. I love this, but I just 
don't have enough humidity. I don't know that anyone does unless they own a greenhouse. The leaves are really pretty, both front and back, which are bright pink. And look at the little red rocket flowers. Um, they haven't quite emerged yet, but they are along the stem. And then this guy here, this is a newer one to me. I've seen them in a lot of other plant videos being available. Again, the backside is bright red, so pretty. This is a monolina, and it is a codex, surprisingly enough, but it likes moisture. Toe bucks, been tempted a number of times to get one for my terrarium, but I'm just not sure I have the room. Then wandering dudes, I think these about 12, 13 for the six inch hanging basket. And look at this giant specimen begonia in the greenhouse. I repotted it a few months ago. It was in a tiny ass pot and look at it. It's rewarding us with tons of blooms. And then some little aglianemas, a couple different pink varieties. I forget the exact variety. You guessed it, $12. Pileas, these sell really well, five bucks. Some Roxanne or Roxana Syngoniums, 16. Then red, brown, I don't know what you'd call it, Syngoniums, 12 bucks. This variety doesn't sell well. This is a Dracaena Sol cane, so popular, nine bucks, variegated. I've been tempted on these guys too, but I just don't have the space for them. 13 for this Musa Margarita, a gold leafed banana. Haven't sold well, which is surprising. People really seem to like the more red modeled forms, honestly. More ivy, birkin, philodendron, and then gloxinias. Really pretty large flowers on them. Um, these guys, they really are very quite similar to African violets. They don't like their foliage to be wet. And you can see, 12 bucks, <laughs> you can see that these guys probably had some water damage to the leaves or humidity some pitcher plants, 20 bucks for the little small dudes, and the large 10 inch ones are 43, but look at all the little pitchers on them. Already growing in so strong. Then some Nanook Tradescantias, huge 12 inch baskets, I think they're 27 bucks. The two inch section here, some great little starter plants for only three bucks. Great for terrariums. Then some Selaginella, some gold variety. Five bucks. Little Pateras ferns. I have some two inch and four inch a little bit down the way on the bench. Polka dot, plant, plant, polka dot plants and some Victoria ferns. Super wavy, seven bucks. Look at how pretty the golden centers are. Nine bucks for this Indian holly fern. Look at this awesome tiger fern or variegated Boston fern. A little expensive, 14 bucks, but I've sold quite a few of them. Oh, also this anthurium. I'm not sure what species it is, but it's beautiful with the big broad leaves. Crocodile fern. I thought these guys were super cool. I think they might be a little too pricey for most people at like 14 bucks, but they're still pretty neat. Some piggyback plants. 
Ptolemia Menzisii, I think it is. Some blue peacock fern. Reality Selaginella, not a fern. Little olive trees. They're so cute. Ten bucks a piece. For a little four inch. Some citrus. These guys are kind of pricey. 40 bucks, but it's so hard to get citrus in nowadays. Little bonsai and topiaries. I think they're about 25, 30 bucks for the junipers in the ceramic. Ginseng ficus, about 35. More little bitty money trees. Alocasia macrorhizas. These guys are two inch pots, five bucks. My sis's discolor that was doing terribly in my house, I brought to work and it's doing really well. Orchids and this rather sad Monstera Deliciosa. I've been fertilizing it, but honestly, it could probably use a prune job. And that's pretty much it, guys. I hope you enjoyed coming to work with me and seeing some of the plants in the greenhouse today. Also, can't forget this cutie. This is Gertrude, the store cat, and she's my little work buddy. Anyway, guys, that will do it for today's video. As always, stay safe, healthy, and safe, and I'll talk to y'all real soon. Goodbye.